This week's new GTA Online update has brought a ton of awesome content to the game, like the new Ruiner ZZ8, which we showed off yesterday in the new update video, plus we finally have the Smuggler's Plane and Smuggler's Trail free mode events that were added, plus confirmation of the new M16 Service Carbine releasing next week, and there's also some amazing property and vehicle discounts added into the game that you definitely want to check out. Today on the show we will be breaking down all of the discounts in this week's GTA Online Buyer's Guide and reviewing each purchase that I think you should buy and also talking about some vehicle discounts and the vehicles that I absolutely think you should avoid buying this week in GTA. You of course work hard for your money so I did the work for you by testing out these cars so you don't have to waste your hard earned money on any useless vehicles. If you enjoy this video at any point or if you just find it helpful let me know by dropping a like on it and if you want to stay up to date with everything GTA Online, Red Dead Online and Rockstar Games consider hitting that subscribe button with your bell notifications turned on. Now before we jump into what vehicles are worth trying out in GTA Online this week I want to talk about a game that's absolutely worth trying out and playing. Do you know what it is? It's playing Mech Arena. Mech Arena is the perfect game for all those gamers out there who may be short on time but still want something really fun and engaging to play. Mech Arena is a free-to-play third-person mech shooter that offers intense, fast-paced team gameplay in several 5v5 PvP scenarios. Mech Arena has a ton of different mechs to choose from, and these are the core focus of this game. Your mech represents you, and each one features a unique combat ability with tons of weapons to choose from and upgrade. There's an even greater variety of skins and paint jobs to completely personalize your mech. What I really enjoy most about Mech Arena is the short but action-packed matches that allow you to finish more games during a small amount of time. Not only that, but this game offers tons of different game modes to suit your gameplay style, whether you like 2v2, 5v5, or control point clash. You can even set up custom matches with your friends. And here's what's happening right now in Mech Arena. There's the new Battle Pass for Season 9, which offers some really amazing new skins for your mechs, and it's Mech Arena's one year anniversary, so you can be sure to find a ton of their special events where you can win crazy prizes, including a new sniper and pilot called Archangel. Mech Arena is completely free to play, so make sure you use my link to download on Android or iOS right now, or just scan my QR code to unlock $25 worth of in-game bonuses. You're going to immediately get access to some really amazing loot like one Firefly skin, one Prodigy Crate, and one Plasma Cannon which you can use to help you kickstart your mech arena grind. And feel free to add me to your friends so we can play some matches together as well. Alright, so jumping into what is worth buying in this week's update, we must first get our big property discount out of the way. We have 40% off all MC Clubhouses. The MC Clubhouses are 40% off this week, and the MC business is definitely worth the purchase here in GTA. Ever since the success of TV shows like Sons of Anarchy, everyone has at least dreamed of ones being part of a biker gang. And in GTA Online, you get to live out your biker outlaw fantasies while also helping you make a lot of money in game. You must first buy a clubhouse to begin your biker gang journey though. Clubhouses are spread all throughout the map and they're available for purchase at relatively low prices with this discount. Essentially, a clubhouse is a way for players to start their very own motorcycle club or an MC. It serves as the base of operations, and an MC usually runs a number of illegal activities and businesses such as a document forgery office, a green stuff warehouse, a white stuff lockup, and blue stuff lab. Now if I said the actual illicit business products, YouTube would demonetize my channel, so please bear with me there. The clubhouse gives players access to these businesses and allows them to assign roles and positions of leadership to friends and crew in GTA. And as the president of an MC, certain jobs become available to the player. Once inside the clubhouse, players can approach the laptop at the lower levels and invest in a particular business. From there, you can complete missions specific to the business and find a way to make some extra dough on the side while doing other contact missions or heists in GTA, for example. Once a player buys a property, they must travel to that property and approach the laptop within the building, and from there they can begin setting up their business with a simple setup mission. Once the setup is done, the business will begin producing supplies that get stored in order to be sold later. Players can complete resupply missions to keep the wheels turning or simply buy more supplies which I personally recommend, but that makes your business slightly less profitable. Stealing supplies on the other hand takes way more time, but it's a sure shot way of increasing profit margins in a business in GTA, but depending on how many you have and operate, you may quickly become overwhelmed by all the manual resupply missions and then you should just opt for buying supplies anyway. Keep in mind though that these missions take place in free mode and there is no way to save oneself from being griefed during a public session in the game, so just to be safe with the new Criminal Enterprises DLC update, remember that you can do all your business 
sourcing and selling missions in invite-only sessions now. After you have enough supplies to sell, you must once again approach that laptop inside of your property and complete a sell mission. There are two options to pick from. Easy and hard. Harder missions have better payouts, but require you to travel further distances and they're slightly more challenging. Whereas the easy ones are shorter distances. When you purchase an MC Clubhouse, you also get access to Clubhouse contracts, which are missions that players can take on through the Clubhouse office. And these missions have triple payouts this week, but on screen are the standard payouts without any bonuses applied. By the pound, you get $25,500 if two bags are delivered successfully. Fragile goods, you earn between twelve and dollars and $34,000. Jailbreak, you earn $22,500. POW, you get $23,000, and Weapon of Choice, you get a reward of $18,000 to $21,000. So why should you buy a clubhouse in this week's update while it's on discount? Well, here are my top five reasons. One, it gets you the ability to become an MC president, which automatically grants you access to exclusive in-game content. Second, you get access to the contract jobs, which are fun missions and they're paying out triple money this week. Third, you get access to a custom garage that can house up to 10 motorcycles of your choice at a time. And the garage also makes additional space for up to seven vehicles for every member that the player adds to their clubhouse. And fourth, every MC clubhouse comes with a motorcycle custom shop where players can tweak the design of their most prized possessions until they're satisfied with the result. And number five, this is perhaps the most important reason to own a clubhouse in GTA. MC presidents can spawn any motorcycle they own right next to them and instantly return it to their storage. While this may not seem like a big deal in theory, it does save a lot of time in the long run as the player won't have to travel halfway across the map to drive a vehicle that they own. Just spawn your oppressor mark II at your feet and drive to where you need to be next. So that's the big property discount. Now let's move into some of my top picks for vehicles that you absolutely must purchase this week in GTA. First, we have 50% off the Pariah for $710,000. Added to GTA Online with the Doomsday Heist update, the Ocelot Pariah boasts an incredible speed of 136 miles an hour, making it the fastest ride in GTA. The car is understandably premium, available in the game for a price of $1.4 million without this week's discount, and the Pariah is a really good sports car overall for certain races, even in the face of a slew of mighty House Special Works vehicles. The the car itself has no HSW upgrades of its own, so its top speed is significantly lower than the two HSW sports cars that we have right now, which are the Banshee and the S95, and as a result, some players may not find the Pariah worth it right now by comparison. However, there are some notable advantages that it has over its competition. For starters, it's noticeably cheaper than an HSW car. Second, and most importantly, hosts of races can opt to disable HSW modifications in-game, meaning that the S95 and the Banshee would struggle against the Pariah in that situation. The Pariah also had a pretty decent customization setup when it released, but thanks to the Los Santos Tuners update, there's a lot of newer options available now for players to give this vehicle the look it deserves. Definitely give this vehicle a try as you will not be disappointed. Next up, we have 40% off the Sultan Classic for $1,030,800. The Sultan Classic is a four-door sports sedan featured in GTA as a part of the continuation of the Diamond Casino Heist update. It was initially featured as a mission-only vehicle and it was released for purchase on January 16, 2020 as part of the Sultan Classic Week event. The car is a classic predecessor of the original Sultan and its design is heavily inspired by two vehicles, the Subaru Impreza GC8 and the Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution 1. Regarding performance here, the sports sedan is powered by a six-cylinder twin cam engine fitted with twin turbochargers, stated to be a 3.5 liter engine. The engine is also connected to a five-speed gearbox and distributes torque evenly to all four wheels. It has a default turbocharger sound, and while the engine sound is similar to that of the Sultan RS, lowering the suspension can make this car prone to wheel spin though, so definitely watch out for that because it makes it very difficult to control in those situations situations, and the ride speed matches lots of good sports sedans in GTA Online. It costs a whopping $1.718 million without any discount, so keep that in mind if you think you're going to purchase this car later down the line. If you're going to do that, I recommend you just get it this week. This vehicle is available for purchase from Southern San Andreas Super Autos, and it can be traded in for $1.288 million after completing the Diamond Casino Heist as Heist Leader and using it as a getaway vehicle. So those are my two vehicle recommendations for this week. Now let's quickly discuss what you should avoid buying in GTA Online. Line. Those include 40% off the Glendale, the Impaler, the Faction Custom, the Marshall, and the Vortex. All of these vehicles are not super expensive in their own right, but there is simply nothing great about these cars. Lots of them are old, sluggish, with low top speeds, 
poor handling, and basically zero excitement with their acceleration at all. While you think you may be saving some money here by buying an already cheaper vehicle that's on discount, making it even super cheap, don't even bother and just avoid them entirely. Unless you're personally a big fan of one of them, then knock yourself out and try it. But that's everything that I think you should buy and you should avoid buying this week in GTA Online. With all that said, we're going to wrap things up right here. Thank you so much for watching today's upload. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video today. And if you did, hopefully I earned your like on it. And of course, if you are new to my channel and you want to stay up to date with all the best GTA Online, Red Dead Online, and Rockstar Games content, consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss out on a single thing we post here on the channel. We consistently talk about updates, news, information, tips, tricks, and even leaks, and we'll keep you guys updated here on the channel daily. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you want to follow me over on Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram, those are the best places to get connected with me outside of YouTube, and you're more than welcome to ask me any questions on those platforms. You can follow me at HazardousHDTV, and all of my social media links can be found in the description down below. That being said, thank you all so much for watching, everyone. I hope you all have a fantastic day, and I will see you guys in the next GTA Online video. Adios, amigos.